What is going on, Nintendos? My name is Captain Alex, and you are watching Nintendo DIY, the show in which I teach you how to make your very own super cool Nintendo themed projects right at home. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own custom Nintendo game card cases. And you're probably wondering, why would I ever need to do that? Well, there's a few great answers to that question. Number one, maybe you're a digital game collector, but you want some way to show your collection in a physical presence. Well, a custom game case is perfect for that. Instead of showing all your friends a screenshot of your games from your Nintendo Switch home screen, you can just simply make a custom case and display them on your shelf. Or maybe one of your siblings or pets is a little bit too wild and destroyed one of your cases and you don't want to pay exorbitant amounts of money on eBay to replace it. Custom game case would be perfect. Or maybe you just want to use these powers for a little bit of evil and prank your friends with some game cases for games that don't quite exist yet. Whatever your reasoning may be, I'm going to show you everything you need and everything you need to know to make your own custom Nintendo Switch GameCube cases. So let's get started. All right, guys, so the first thing we want to do when we are making a custom Nintendo Switch box art is, of course, we're going to need some kind of template. So luckily, this guy on Reddit named Hopper2004 has this amazing Photoshop file that he has made for free for all of us to use. So you can find this on Reddit or I will include a link to it in the description as well in the download section of my website at CaptainAlex.com. So if you click his link, It'll come with everything you need in order to make your own box art. So it has a cover template for a Photoshop as well as the fonts. All right. So that is perfect. That's everything we need when we download that and we open it in Photoshop. It is going to look something like this. Now, this guy did an amazing job of giving us exactly what we need. We could turn off the titles, change the title to whatever we need. Um, everything is literally perfect, even down to all the ratings are on here. We could change it to 18 plus, mature, teen, everything that we could possibly need is already in this file. The only thing we need to do is add box art. So really, this is a super simple tutorial. So like I've said in many of my other tutorials, especially uh, my Amiibo card one, Nintendo is amazingly generous with their official art and it's usually always available somewhere online. So I'm gonna be doing a Super Smash Brothers box for this tutorial because I did not get a plastic case with my copy of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I only got the uh, steel book. So I wanna have a plastic case with the official original box art on it. So what we're gonna do is just go to Google and type in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate cover art. And just like that, we'll get tons of results on Google Images. And this one right here is a pretty good example of what the box art looks like. We'll drag that up into the image search and we wanna pick the largest file size we can possibly find. So here, this one is 3000 by 4692. That is way more than we possibly need for such a small box. But we'll go ahead and open that in a new tab and you can see tons of detail here. So this is the file we definitely wanna use. So we'll just right click it save it to where you want it on your computer and that's what we'll be using so we'll go ahead and close this out right now i've already got that stuff saved here on my desktop um, in the corner there you can see it so i'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop the smash ultimate box art into the photoshop file place it just like that and we want to make sure that is the very last layer so enter cover below, you'll see it on there and there. Now it is behind all other layers in our box art. And just like that, we've already got our front done. Super simple. Now, the next thing we wanna do is make some kind of back for the box art. Now, I really don't personally care for what the original box art was because it really doesn't matter. Usually the back of the box just has some kind of, this is how you play the game, this is what the game's about. Of course, I know what Smash Brothers is. This is for my personal collection, so I don't need the official box art. I'm gonna put something cooler that I like. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and grab the Smash roster picture that I found of the entire cast, minus the DLC characters, of course. And we're just gonna drag that, center it in the back there, and place it down, just like that. Super simple. Again, that's gonna be in the very bottom so that it is below all other layers. Now, you can see this white band kind of cuts off everything in the back here. Um, now, this is up to you if you want to keep this band. If you don't want to keep this band, um, 
that's totally your call. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of modify this band. I want to keep it, but I also um, I don't need all this information, and I don't want to cover up all the characters that are on this roster. So what I'm gonna do is this layer that says uh, back band and then don't touch. If we turn that off, that is that entire white band pretty much minus these modifiable inputs, right? So we've turned that off for now, and all I need is the number of players and uh, that it does require wireless internet if you want to play the online portions of Smash Brothers, and it is, of course, Switch uh, Pro Controller compatible, so I want those on there. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, this number of players right here, and we will resize it to make it fit down here in this area in this uh, area right here. Make sure everything is sized appropriately and that will look just perfect right there. Now, the next thing we wanna do is uh, modify our description. So we could turn that off. We don't really care for that. We don't need this here, um, but we do wanna take away our rating and make that smaller on the back. So what we're gonna do is this is on the top layer, the ESRB, and we're just gonna grab this and modify it to make it smaller. So we'll take that, go ahead and do that, and then we will make that E for everyone much smaller while turning off that one. And then we've just gotta find our box. There we go, there's the border, and there is that. So that's all turned off, and now we'll just size the E for everyone appropriately just like that, it's still a little bit too big, so let's make that a little bit smaller. All right, there we go, that will fit nicely right there. So there's our E for everyone. Now we've just gotta move our controllers into place and we are good to go. So here is deselect that. Our pro controller, we'll move the wireless re for required first because yeah, we'll want that on top. So go ahead and shrink that down to size. Now again, these are gonna be very tiny when we print it out, um, but the details are back there and that's kind of the important part. We did keep the details, even if we can't read them, to be quite honest, doesn't make a big difference to me. But of course, this is your box art, so you are going to do whatever you think looks the best. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this do not touch layer again. And what I'm gonna do is take this, take my marquee tool once again, and just cut out this license by Nintendo, made in Japan, uh, official Nintendo seal of approval, and grab all of this, because I want to keep this, so we'll go edit, copy, edit, paste, we're gonna turn off the original layer, and again, we're just gonna take this and shrink it down to a size that will fit. So there we go, that fits nicely back there now. And there we have it, that is our completed box art. All we've gotta do now is just change this example text to say Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So again, we'll scroll up. Here it says, uh, that's the rating description. Here's the Nintendo logo, game title right here. Grab our text tool. Super Smash Bros. period Ultimate. All right, there we go. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. And uh, our box art is completed. So we'll go ahead and do save as, smash, cover, template, and we'll save it as a PNG file, large version. All right, so that is done. We have our front of the box complete. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make this a double-sided file. So I wanna put something on the inside so that we also have a great picture when we open the box. Um, so I'm not gonna use the official one, which I believe is a Smash Brothers ro the roster. Um, what I'm going to do is do this World of Light artwork right here. I thought this was really cool. I found this on Google. And so I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna put Kirby right on the spine right there. And uh, this is what we're gonna see when we open it. This awesome landscape with these mountains and these uh, buildings, just really cool looking for the interior of the box. So we're just gonna put that on the very top layer so that we have the appropriate size. And then again, we'll save it as our interior box art as a PNG. So now we've got both. What we wanna do is open them up 
to print them. So we've got that here, I've got that here, and this is how you wanna print it. Um, once you have your settings, put them on landscape mode and put it on the two-sided and get the highest quality you can. So make sure you're not printing it on fast mode or anything like that. Um, and then go to your layout and you wanna bind it on the short edge so that when it flips, your uh, interior box art is right side up. And then just print it and we'll go ahead and cut it and put it together. So now that we've got our custom art all made on the computer and printed out, now we've just got to assemble our game case. So obviously, if you're making a custom game case, the first thing you're going to need is a blank plastic uh, case that you're going to put the artwork in and your game. All right? so you can get those on store.nintendo.com under uh, Nintendo Switch and then under replacement parts. Now, of course, you're going to need your artwork that you've finished and printed. Obviously, without the artwork, I'm not going to be making a custom game case. Uh, I used some HP heavyweight project paper for this project. Um, it's supposed to be better for uh, printing bright colors and basically just a little bit more sturdy than your standard regular printer paper. And then you're going to either need scissors or some kind of paper cutter. So I've got here a little craft paper cutter. You can find these pretty much anywhere. They sell craft supplies, Walmart, Target, uh, Michaels, specialty craft stores like that. This is probably about 15 bucks. Could definitely find it on Amazon and it'll give you a perfect straight edge to cut those lines on your artwork. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we're just going to take our paper cutter and we're going to slip our cover art right in there just like that. And we want to line it up inside here. There's a little silver piece of string uh, or wire that the blade sits on. So all you got to do is line it up with that silver wire and then take the blade, slide it right across. And it's as easy as that. And we'll do that on all four sides, of course. All right, so there we have it. There is our printed and cut artwork perfectly cut to size using our paper cutter. Now all we've got to do is grab our plastic case again and put our artwork right inside. So you're going to want to, the easiest way to do this is just to bend the case all the way backwards. Take your artwork, fold it just a little bit into itself. Try your best not to wrinkle it and just slip it inside there. Now it's going to be a snug fit because it is fit perfectly to the game case, which is exactly what you want. You don't want to have some uh, edges or gaps in there once you fold this over. So you don't want to have like extra plat like extra uh, clear areas on either side. You want it to fit perfectly. So it is going to be a little bit snug, a little bit hard to get in there, but once you get in there, you're going to get this oh so nice look. Once you close it, you've got your perfect replica of a Nintendo Switch game case, or you've got your very own custom artwork in there of a Nintendo Switch game case. As you can see, the spine is perfectly sized right there. Super Nintendo, or sorry about that, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Got the Nintendo logo down here. And on the back, we've got our uh, roster artwork with just a few little official looking uh, emblems and ID tags down here. And then on the inside, because we did the reverse printing, we've got our World of Light artwork just like that. And that is how you make your very own custom Nintendo Switch game case. All right, guys, there you have it. That's it for this episode of Nintendo DIY. Your powers have been leveled up, and you now officially know everything you need to know to make your own custom Nintendo Switch box art. Be sure to tag me on Instagram and Twitter with all your creations. I'd love to see them, and I will see you on the next episode of Nintendo DIY. Thanks for watching.